What's up guys, my name is Dennis Sera and today I'll be giving you five tips to burn more fat. Now, this year's almost over, 2021 is just around the corner and if you're anything like me, you probably started setting your goals up in your head that you want to achieve, that you want to accomplish in 2021. And if you haven't, you should probably start doing that, like now. And more often than not, these goals usually include some sort of fitness related goals as well, which is, which is great, take care of your body. But a lot of times, a big chunk of these people who set their goals usually end up sticking to this plan only for the first two to three months. And then the excuses start coming up. Oh, I'm tired and I didn't get enough sleep. I work a lot, yada, yada, yada. And the next thing you know, the year's almost over. You're stuck with a big fat belly, looking in the mirror, wondering what the hell happened. Now. If you're cool with that, hats off. I mean, you do you. But if you want to be a part of that small percentage of people who actually live a healthy lifestyle, work towards being better physically and mentally, be fit, then these tips are going to help you significantly. So the first tip is apple cider vinegar. Now you probably heard at least once in the past couple of years about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. I mean, if you haven't, I don't know under what rock you've been living in. Are you okay? Apple cider vinegar in its most simple form is just fermented juice. Yeast is added into the juice to turn the sugars into alcohol and then bacteria is added afterwards to turn the alcohol into acetic acid. Now, I'm no scientist. I can't tell you how it works or what's the science behind it, but there are definitely studies out there that prove that drinking two to three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar every day helps lower your blood, blood blood sugar levels. Sorry. And I'm telling you, man, like this thing works magic on your body. It's It kickstarts your metabolism. I drink it every day, every morning. It's important to note, do not drink it straight up. It's bad for your teeth if you do it that way. So mix it with a warm glass of water. And I have to say, it doesn't taste the greatest, but I mean, grow a pear and chug that shit down. And you're not five years old anymore. Number two, drink coffee. Now, this is one that shouldn't be misunderstood. When I say drink coffee, I do not mean emphasis on, I do not mean drink caramel frappuccinos and pumpkin spice lattes and all this and that. No, not those, black coffee. Now, a lot of us drink coffee daily. We drink it in the morning, we drink it before we go to work. We have busy lives, we need the caffeine to get through the day. But you need to get rid of all the sugar. You can't be drinking those lattes and those frappuccinos and those caramel macchiatos and all that. That is not possible. Now I know, I have the biggest sweet tooth. I was addicted to that stuff back in the day, back in, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And it is insane how much your body changes when you cut the unnecessary additives that they add into those coffees. It is insane how your body reacts when you just switch to black coffee. Now, caffeine obviously helps your metabolism to work faster. The more caffeine you intake, the faster your body works. The faster your body works, more fat you burn. Now, obviously this doesn't mean chug 10 liters of coffee every day to burn more fat. Please don't do that, I don't wanna be responsible for that but drink coffee and drink black coffee and at the same time another thing that black coffee helps with it blunts your appetite so drinking a cup of coffee can kind of push your hunger away for an extra couple of hours speaking of sugar number three you need to cut the shit can't say that no you need to cut the sugar now, if you look at it from a weight loss perspective, not a fat loss perspective, at the end of the day, it's just calories in, calories out. If you intake more calories than your body's burning, you're gonna gain weight. If you intake less calories than your body's burning, you're gonna lose weight. But that doesn't necessarily translate to fat loss. That is the part where nutrition comes in. 300 calories you take from a bowl of quinoa and 300 calories you take from a chocolate bar are not the same. Your body's gonna react differently to it. There is some type of sugar in basically everything we eat. There's sugar in fruits, there's sugar in vegetables, but the difference is those are natural sugars. Those are easier for your body to digest 
and basically to get rid of. Now, I'm not telling you to cut sugar altogether because that would be extremely difficult, but what you need to do is kind of stay away from the refined sugars as much as you can. What helps me personally is simply just not buying them. If I have it under my hand, if I have it at home, as soon as I get the cravings, I'll just reach for it. And I know that, for, and simply for that reason, I just don't buy it. Instead, I just stock up my fridge with a bunch of apples and all that. And when I do get the cravings, there's nothing else for me to actually eat but those apples. Plus, another thing that helps with this is if you actually consistently work out, after your workouts, you will feel hungry. You'll chug a protein shake or whatever, right? And then after a couple hours, when you do get the cravings again, you'll actually have that mentality and you're just gonna feel like, no man, I just worked out today. I can't eat this. Well, what's the point of it then? Speaking of working out, Number four, cardio. Now, I know, I know, you're gonna be like, come on, man, like, you're gonna, you're gonna tell us about cardio? We know this already, I, I don't wanna do cardio. Now, exactly, I don't like to do cardio either. I, I hate cardio, but this is the reason why I'm gonna tell you a specific type of cardio that you can do that takes significantly less amount of time and burns just as much, if not more, calories. It's called heat training, high intensity interval training. Now I've talked about this before. A high intensity interval training is basically where you do selected movements, four to five movements, which can include squats, jump squats, burpees, mountain climbers, and all that. You do these movements without counting them. You do them for 30 seconds, and then you rest for 30 seconds, and then you do the next movement for 30 seconds, and then you rest again for 30 seconds. Now, depending on your level of fitness and how strong you are, you can definitely alternate these you can do it for 45 seconds and only rest for 15 or you can even do all the movements without no rest period in between and then finish it the entire set and then rest for an extra minute minute and a half and do it as a circuit now this type of workout is actually one of my favorites because I hate jumping on a treadmill and running or jogging for an hour. That's the most boring thing in the world for me. So that's why I choose to do heat trainings. And last but not least, number five. You ready? This is the easiest one of them all. You need to drink more water. Yes, people, you just need to be drinking a lot more water than you actually think. 90% of the time, well, I don't know if it's actually 90, a big percentage of the time when you're feeling hungry, when you're feeling like snacking, munching, it's actually your body telling you that you're thirsty. You need to hydrate. Toss out the boxes of juice you have in the fridge. Get rid of the bottles of Coke. You don't need that stuff. Don't substitute the water your body needs with juices and smoothies and bubble tea. Drink water. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you that those things are bad for you because you already know this. You've been hearing that since you were little kids. Not to mention, you need it. Your body needs water. Your body needs to be hydrated in order to be working properly. More water you drink, it's easier for your body to basically cleanse and get rid of everything that it's been holding on to. You're gonna be amazed by the difference you see in your body in just one week. If you actually check how much water you're drinking every day and make sure you're getting enough liquids in your body. Long story short, the point is just drink more water. Set an alarm on your phone every 20 minutes, every half an hour, just stand up and go pour yourself a glass of water and just drink it. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what my next video should be about. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it would really help me a lot. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.